even more treasures are ready to be uncovered because a brand new world has been added to our message simulator. So we have arrived in the brand new world. We can see there is a new vault with the vault goblin. We got new eggs, new bosses, and of course a brand new gold merchant, which adds in a brand new mechanic into this game, which is the new gold mechanic randomly from defeating the bosses. It can be any boss at the rate of around eight gold per hour. You can get yourself the new gold currency. You can see it is this right here. It's the mythic gold deposit in the orc vault or you can as well use it inside of the paradise merchant over here. So it's super simple. Defeat the boss. You can defeat the fastest. For me, that's sadly the orc rookie. Of course, go for the one you can do the fastest because it is based on how many uh, defeats you can do per hour, how much gold you're going to get up to eight gold per hour maximum, which is still very good. So this gold you can spend on the vault, which is over here in the vault goblin for a plethora of awesome loot including a new hunter at level 190 boost got to sell us the charm summon got to sell us the giga spooky dragon and, and of course some basic rewards as well if you do fancy a more guaranteed way of spending your gold you can use the paradise merchant which is over here and this allows you to spend your gold which is pretty inefficient this red slime bucket is okay you can see there's a fedora which is only 180 and costs 15 gold so this is around like two hours of grinding that's how you have to keep it in mind because it's around eight gold an hour that you're gonna get and then there's two eggs over here one for seven qt and one for 25 qt which holds the new dominus orc which i think if people already hatch it it came out at like 12 or 15 trillion or something like that you could get a billion sorry as a total power so that's still a very good pack of course there's some new grips some new punching bags some new weights so those of course are always very awesome and usable so be sure to use them to grind yourself a little bit more strength but now of course with this update it makes a lot more sense to more grind these bosses right here you should get yourself enough power to grind a boss efficiently then use the gold to get yourself some of the rewards and then of course just prepare for the next world when it comes out world 15. So, of course, I did do a little bit of preparing myself. Like I said, I do have a brand spanking total of 14 gold, which is the brand new currency you can get right now from this update. We're going to go ahead and spend it on the vault today because I want to see if I can get a very lucky and snag myself up maybe even the 0.1% Giga Spooky Dragon. I don't think it's going to happen. You know, it's very rare, but I would be happy with the new uh, Fedora or sorry, the Hunter's Head, sorry. Uh, the 190%. Of course, it's still a 1% chance, but it would be very nice to get one. Uh, so it, on average, would be almost 100 hours to get this hat, though. So that's quite rare. And as well, got a little bit of money to spend on the new orc egg. Hopefully get myself the dragon orc or the dominus orc. So let's equip ourselves with the luck team as well. In the store, there's the brand new limited stock pets, which are the... The, the Dominus is with the Snow, Fire, Storm, and Galaxy one. Pretty good pets. Then as well, we have ourselves a new Antlers Paradise pack, which has the Giga Hulaket, the Mega Secret Tiki. One of these exists, 13 of these exist, and 12 of these. So some very insane pets. But of course, this Paradise pack is very expensive. You should expect to spend around 10,000 Robux to get yourself something good. So... If you're going to spend just like one or two thousand, don't expect to get anything great from this pack. It's definitely aimed towards like the upper bracket of spending Robux. So I'm going to go ahead and auto delete all these bad boys right here. And hopefully from all of the hatches, I can get myself maybe a Dragon Orc or a Dominus Orc. I will actually keep the Dog Orc as well. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, uh, actually. Oh, no. Dog Orcs are very common. I uh, know we will make ourselves like a really, really big one, but... We'll just do it a little bit, get ourselves a bunch of dog orcs, and then we're just going to hope we're going to get ourselves the dragon or the dominus one. And there we go. We are now done with making ourselves the dog orc, and you can see it's 422 million at void. Huge. That's something to keep in mind. Not a bad pet at all, uh, but it's not the strongest one. So we're just going to go ahead and auto delete this, and we're just going to focus on the dragon and the dominus orc instead. And it seems I'm stupid. I didn't run out of space. I ran out of money. So this, this, this egg is very expensive. I thought I grinded a little bit of money, but... Uh, but no, okay. So at least we got ourselves the, the, the dog in its biggest form. So that's nice. 
guys again 422 million you can of course level these up with some speed that kind of stuff uh but yeah that is not too bad at all so before we continue on to the vault i do want to go ahead and give you guys the brand new code for today's update what's awesome this code actually gives you free gold guys it gives you free gold so if you use the code paradise you get yourself a three times that boost for 24 hours and a free gold which is absolutely awesome it's so cool that they actually give this i said this before in the past and i thought it was such a good suggestion to add some currency to this and they kept going with it so like when there was a new spin wheel new mechanic they with the code you get yourself one free spin one free try to get a little bit of the taste of how good and how cool the new system is so you get some free gold from that code which is absolutely awesome so we have the vault goblin right here we have 15 gold and we have one goal i want to get myself the hunter head if i get the giga spooky if i'm the first person in the world to get it on camera that would be absolutely amazing i am not counting on it though but that would be awesome so let's go ahead and spend ourselves a little bit of gold okay we spent one already we got three cookies that's not a good start all right let's go for number two another three cookies okay please just don't give me only cookies that would be very sad all right next one we got a pet xp potion a four percent chance not bad okay we had our highest one just yet we got to sell three uncommon uh uncommon lucky blocks we got some raspberries. We're already one third of the way through. Oh my god, another three cookies, another three cookies. Okay, we got some rotten star fruit. The only thing we're missing is still the dragon one. Another cookie, another rotten star fruit, another dragon fruit. There we go, gets us two of these. So now we've gotten all of the basic rewards and we're just looking for the top three. We only have four gold left, guys, which is very sad. But, you know, it is what it is. This Vault Goblin is a very needy and he's taking all my gold and not giving me anything rare in return. And the last one, three, two, one, and boom. Two more rotten dragon fruits. Okay. Oh, that is a little bit sad. It is what it is. But, you know, at least we're going to sell some free rewards, including, of course, that one gold from the code, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I would say this update is a little bit uh, on the different side, but I do like it. It doesn't feel like grinding the bosses for wins. It's just only for the eggs, but the pets are not that great. So why would you grind the pets? You now have a double incentive to go for it. Like, you're going to grind yourself your strength. You get yourself the gold. You get yourself the wins. You you know spend them on the eggs and on the vault and hopefully get yourself one of those lucky very very rare pets i do like it this way i don't really like grinding these separate bosses that then don't give you wins i prefer this method a lot more of course in the last kingdom we had ourselves the new wave mechanic which was really cool the wrestle trials a very very cool way of doing it uh but it's still like it, it drives you away from the main grind which is kind of annoying because you have to go in there you have to go back and have to think about it. i have to go in there like for 20 minutes and then of course the one that we have in the wasteland is where we have the big big boss but the big big boss doesn't give you any of the other currency so i do definitely prefer this method of getting gold from any of them i do wish that the gold was a little bit more common from the higher bosses compared to the lower ones because currently it does not make a difference if you grind the first one or you grind the last one for gold so it definitely could have been a little bit of toning in that of course it doesn't have to be like a lot more but maybe like 50 percent more or even 20 or 15 percent more gold an hour from the highest compared to the lowest boss would be very appreciated but of course we can always give feedback to the dev so if you guys of course have some suggestions be sure to drop them in the discord drop them in the comment section down below and i will try to pass them along to the developers and hopefully they'll be added to the game but the last thing i want to do i would do want to go ahead and do myself a little giveaway so i'm looking around there's a bunch of stuff but i think what i want to do i want to give away two and a half thousand robux to spend on anything you want you can spend it on the endless paradise pack you can spend it on the vip pass you can spend it on the rich egg you can spend it on whatever you want maybe you want to buy yourself five snow dominuses if that's what you want to do then feel free to do that so if you guys want to get yourselves two and a half thousand robux what you have to do you're gonna have to like this video subscribe to comment down below hashtag two and a half thousand to get a bunch of rosaries demon is everything you're gonna have to do so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do a little bit of, of rolling on this i don't want to spend too much robux i'm gonna go ahead and spend a thousand i know it doesn't sound like a lot a thousand is nothing right a thousand is nothing but i just want to see wait i'm getting a hunter head from here for free 
Okay, and we got ourselves the the angler fish, 185%. Wait, okay, we're getting some really good things already. What? I got the hunter head. I got the angler fish as well. That's crazy. Wait, angler fish. This thing is crazy good as well with winner winner six. Okay, uh, and then we got ourselves the new head, 190 hunter head. Okay, um, I just hardly spent anything. That's very good. Okay, okay. Like I said, I'm going to spend 1,000 Robux. So we're going to go and serve at like 18,500. See, we're going to get some free eggs as well. What's cool, these eggs are going in my event tree, which is nice. Get ourselves a Charm Summon. Okay, they definitely buffed this pass. Holy moly, so many more free rewards. Like, you're spending some Robux, but this is crazy. Okay, and there we go now, another 500. Okay, we see some slime buckets in there. Okay, we're now going to pass the 1,000 Robux threshold. But I'm, I just want to see, is there any pets in the near? No, okay, so nothing shows if I buy this 1,000 one and I get some pets. So I'll just leave it at that. So not bad at all, to be honest. We got to sell some slime buckets. We got to sell two charm summons. So let's go ahead and use those. Boom, we got to sell two winner charms. And we got 15 of these as well. Okay, let's just go ahead and use them right now. Boom. Eight of these. A bunch of scrolls. A bunch of those. Boom. Seven of these. And some more. Not too bad. Okay. There we go. That is what you would get from only a thousand. And you can spend two and a half thousand if you win the giveaway. So if you've enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like down below. Guys, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. See you guys. Take care. Love, bye. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, as well, take care.